Hey there, this is uh, David again from the True Blue Sand Blog, and uh, today we are going to drop a snag. Let me see. There it is right there. There's the snag we're going to drop. It's a black oak snag. It has lots of lean to it. We'll uh, get set up where you can see it. It's nice and straight vertical the way I want to drop it. It's got a lot of forward lean. So I want to make some decent wood. But first I thought we'd uh, just take a look here. Had a comment on a video where we were putting a new saw together, or 550. We were putting it together and somebody asked, left a comment. Wanted to know about, said could I make a video showing how to set the brake. And uh, I'm not sure uh, what exactly what the fellow wants. But uh, the chain brake is one of the safety devices on your saw. Of course, you've got uh, you've got your chain catcher underneath here. You got to have a chain catcher that keeps the chain from uh, coming back and slicing you up if it comes off. You've got to get your chain brake uh, on some saws, cheap saws that don't have a brake. They'll have a uh, deal up here so you can't get in you can't use the tip of course I don't like those and uh, and of course you've got a uh, hand guard that, that uh, extends out here so if the chain comes back you know this this part right here protects your hand but uh, anyway the chain brake uh, you push that forward and your chain won't turn it just stops it immediately pull that back then your chain can turn and when you're uh, using the saw you know, when you're walking with it you, you, when you're walking with it you set your brake uh, if you're using your saw the proper way to do it is just rotate your hand bump that with the back of your wrist and to to take the brake off you keep your thumb hooked under the the handle there just reach up give it a squeeze and that that releases it, bump it with the back of your wrist, and it sets it. And if you have a kickback, you know, if you let that tip, you let your tip catch something and the saw kicks back, uh, it kicks back pretty violently. That chain is running about 45 miles an hour, and so it, it will kick back with that, that speed off the tip. And, it's pretty violent. And here we'll, I'm going to move this over and show you what happens. Let's see if I can get this aimed right. There we go. There's a chunk of wood there. So, I don't have a camera person here, so I'm kind of guessing where it's going to be. But if I have the brake loose, where she runs. If you get a kickback, there you heard a click. See now she's set. Just a good bump. We'll set. We'll do that again. Here it's set. When it sets, it won't, it won't turn. Pull that back. Let her drop. And that's set again. That's a good way to check your. Uh, brake and make sure it's functioning right. What happens on these you know, brake mechanisms in here, it gets choked up with crud, you know, dirt and sawdust. It gets choked up with that. So you need to clean that out. Uh, I've only had one get really nasty once where it was hard to clean up. That was on my old 272. It, you know, a little bit of compressed air and a brush and I got it cleaned up. But, uh, pull back. That releases it, chain runs, get a kickback, and she's set, it won't turn. So that's that's what it does. You get to get a little kickback on it and it'll set your brake. But uh, learn that motion. Back of your back of your wrist to set it and uh, reach up, pull it back like that. Anyway, we're uh, gonna look at this tree over here now. And let me see here. 
I'm going to have to carry the camera around here to look at this. So it's going to be shaky. Anyway, this is the tree we're looking at. You can see it has a lot of forward weight. We're looking at, we're looking at right now 90 degrees from where it's going to fall. And we go up and we can see it's got a lot of forward weight. Uh, big safety problem here. It's got some dead limbs up there. They're going to brush through others. So uh, what happens? Those tend to flip right back toward the stump. So there's going to be the stump. And when I cut it, I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Get away from that stump. You hang around that stump and stuff like that will flip right back on you. So the escape route is important. And then before I start well, I've got a bunch of uh, got a bunch of slash from when we logged a few years ago. I'm going to bust that down uh, before I cut this. So, so I'm going to turn the camera off and bust that slash down a little bit. Also, you see right down there, there's a part of a treetop. Uh, thing. It's good to be aware of that this tree falls about you know about eight or ten feet. It's going to hit that thing. When it hits that, the back end will pop up. So you don't stand around the stump. You get her cut loose where she starts to move, you get away. So I'm going to turn this off and cut my slash, and then we'll come back. And I'm going to set the camera up close here where you can watch those cuts go in. We'll do a face cut, a bore cut to establish the hinge, and then I'm going to cut right on out the back after I get the hinge made. And when we get done, we'll go back and we can grade that stump. So anyway, I'm going to turn this off and do my cleanup around here, and then we'll get to cutting. Okay, I've got my tripping hazards pretty much cut out of the way. And uh, I'm going to fire up, and we will put a face in that. I'll punch it through from the other side so you can see it come through here. And then I'll dog in on the other side and narrow my hinge down on this side so you'll see it spitting out there. And then I'll cut it on out the back and make my getaway. And boy, I wish I had a cameraman. But oh well. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's move this up here and have a looky. Here, let's see. Get my uh, get my camera tipped up here. There we go. And you can see the end of the log there all that really shows really shows the punch through on the end of the log nice okay I my ears off here so i can hear myself speak okay we made the first cut here 
match cut here and uh, the trick here that I use so I, I, I lock that right arm into my side you know put it I'll put it right in against my side to hold that level when I get down here pull that out with my left arm rotate the saw and cut here and I bring it back up I bring it back until I'm even with this cut and I look through that place where I sliced and I rotate that around and I can see when the chain comes into the other end of that cut that way I don't cut too deep because you want them to match and then of course with over here I start the saw like this get it buried rotated I push through here then I bring it up here to get I want it about an inch and I get it up here to the right spot I stick the dogs in and I look around it and I rotate that saw and you can see my marks here where I rotate it in but uh, the way you get that nice and straight is you hook your dog in and, and rotate that saw after you've got your your uh, width right on that then all you got to do is cut out the back on one that has forward weight and she uh, and of course it hit the ground Let me see. it hit the ground while I was still walking away from it and boy isn't that a nice sight that's uh, I like it when they go down like that so anyway now I got a little bit of wood to cut and uh, get that loaded up and into the barn so anyway thank you for visiting and we'll catch you later uh, when you uh, when you get out and you're ready to make your getaway you uh, I didn't hit the brake I just I hit the uh, kill switch you know I turned the engine off as soon as I started as soon as I turned around I hit the switch and killed the motor that way you if you uh, you don't want that uh, you don't want to accidentally bump your throttle and have that thing cut you so you know either kill it or hit the, the brake when you're making your getaway so we'll catch you later <laughs>